Today we are going to learn about overloading unary, unary operators in C++. Okay. So first of all, let's understand what is overloading. Okay. What does overloading means in C++ in terms of operators? Okay. So if I have, let's say, int A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C, then I can easily say that, okay, C is equal to A plus B, something like this, C is equal to A into B. So these are the data types and I can do some operations on them, okay? And we know that in C++, we have classes, okay? And now what happens, let's say, if we have a class like this, we have a class integer, which has a number int, okay? So if we have this kind of class, and we want that this class also, the objects of this class, okay? Or even if, let's say, we have a class, yeah, okay, so uh, integer class, where I have, let's say, class integer and I have some mem data member int i, okay? So now what happens is, and some code here, okay? I want that, okay, I said that int, so int, I will say that i1 and I will pass 3 to it in the constructor int i2, 4 and then int i3, okay? So now let's say what will happen. I want that, okay, this class objects now should also have the property of that operators should be working in the same way as it has worked for the integer, integer numbers, okay? So I want that, okay, I1, so I1 plus I2 should work also for the class object of the integer type, okay? So here, this operator should work for the integer type uh, or for the class, okay? So how should we proceed? And here, this is done by operator overloading. And in this case, it's a... So we will study about unary operators first and then this one is a binary. But what our need is that we want operators like plus plus i1 i1 plus plus so this is prefix and post fixed fix increment operator so minus of i1 so these all should work for this class object okay if i do i1 into i2 so that should multiply it okay so these kind of things should be happening on the class object and that is our aim so for this we need what is called overloading of operators okay so this is the thing that we are going to study and let's see so i define a class integer which has a private member so in c++ when you don't write specifier so it's basically it is taken int i is a private this integer star this is also a private which returns the this pointer to the class okay and now we are declaring public functions. So integer, so the constructor is public. It takes an integer. By default, its value is zero. This is the C++ syntax, syntax for it. And this means here is, so I, I, I here means that this private member now becomes equal to I, I, which is the argument, okay? So this is same as writing here, I is equal to I, I. But it is another way of writing the same thing. So, so let's move, okay? So let's see further. So what happens? So now we can define this using operator overloading, okay? But before that, see, we are using a friend function, okay? So friend function, as you know, so it's used for defining some functions which are not of the class but which is outside the class it's some function but this function is now allowed to use the private attributes of the 
and private functions of the class okay so i define one friend function which is defined as const integer so it is basically what it's doing is it's for minus it is now a minus operator will return me a negative of that integer okay so it is returning me a const integer operator minus so this thing represents a minus okay and then const integer ampersand a okay so this let's see this function clearly and let's understand so what happens here is so i have this was the friend function i defined in the class and now i am implementing it okay so what happens is so this returns a reference of type integer okay so it returns a reference and we are telling that overload the minus sign okay so it is overloading the minus sign and we are taking as argument const integer ampersand a okay so these are some very good ways of programming so here i write const integer ampersand a and so this argument that we are passing first thing is it cannot be changed in the function and another thing is and another thing is that we are passing reference to the argument okay so these two things are there and this helps because now this is just taking the reference and it we are not passing the huge size of the means for this one we are not passing the object itself which might take a lot of memory on the heap on the stack so we don't want that okay and then this returns a const integer ampersand so it's returning a reference and let's see so now it just returns it makes a new object integer and it does minus a dot i so here we should remember this i'm able to do minus a dot i because this was declared as a friend function here this operator minus so i could access a dot i so this is clear i'm making a temporary object and returning it okay so a few things to remember in fact so here one mistake i'm doing which we should not do okay so never return what we should never return a reference to a local object which we have created inside a body of the function why because now i created this integer and i'm passing argument minus a dot i okay but what is happening is that this will be out of scope when the function is returning and if i'm passing the reference to this one then this will be after the function is complete it returns it will be dangling and this pointer will not be there so we should not in fact use this thing so it should be const integer and not ampersand should not be used so here also so friend const integer so it should be like this so that should not be used so i i'm just giving you warning that we should not use this reference in returning because this object is a local variable here in the function and when we return this memory is gone and you don't have any pointer to that object so always return the object itself so that it is copied here and returned back okay then let's see integer star operator ampersand so i also want that okay for this object if i do ampersand of the object it should return me the pointer to the class okay so how we implement this thing so i again make a friend function const integer star so it is returning a pointer to integer class object and i am saying that okay we are using the operator ampersand and i am passing integer ampersand a okay so now we see here integer ampersand a is passed and i say return a dot this okay 
so now again you see so why am this is friend function because now it can access the private method integer star this so this is private if you don't define anything for a function it becomes private by default in c plus plus so it calls the return a dot this and next let's see why we call a dot this i you can say that i should have return return say this itself so i can write something like why not return this itself okay a dot this so that will be a kind of recursion okay infinite recursion it will go into and that's why we don't use it so we have a private method this which returns integer star and i call using this one okay and next we study about increment with prefix increment and postfix increment okay so let's see so this one is the prefix operator and what do we do const integer ampersand so i'm returning reference operator plus plus integer ampersand a and what i do a dot i plus plus because it is a reference and it's not const here so i can access the first thing is i can access a dot i i is private but then also i can access because i had it as a friend function okay so this is one thing here and now because it is a reference so i can change it it will be changed in this a and it is not const here so i can change it in this function and return a so here we talk that okay whatever is local in a function we should never return a reference to it but here again you are saying that okay we are returning a reference but let's see is that thing so here this is not a local object a is not a local object it was passed as an argument from somewhere we modified it and we are returning so this one is fine okay so now let's see so this was a prefix operator so if you do something like i have a object a or c so i can do plus plus c so what will happen so it will basically call operator plus plus so operator plus plus it will call the c with c and now c dot i plus plus will happen and it will be returned is the c itself okay with modified version so now let's see post fix version so here i want that okay whatever is returned in that the value should not be changed it should not be incremented but after that it should be incremented so what i do so const integer operator plus plus the same here integer ampersand a now what i do i save integer beforehand so i save a dot i then i do a dot i plus plus which is fine because i'm getting a reference here and i return beforehand okay so this is now a post fix because first thing is i'm incrementing this one a is getting changed but whatever i'm returning so it is not having that change and to change the signature for the post fix i'm just passing a int also which is never used here which has a while value that is assigned by the compiler okay so what is the use of this one so let's see so if i do something like c is equal to plus plus a okay and c is equal to a plus plus so let's see what is the difference and first consider this one so c is equal to a plus plus so it will basically be calling operator so plus plus it will call with a and uh, some integers okay so which is just for signature change so that i can identify this post fix operation then it will make a temporary object integer beforehand and it will pass a dot i so now let's say if inside a there was three so this a dot i plus plus so it will now i will become four for it but integer beforehand had been passed three so this beforehand will return c will become an integer 
so that will have a value 3 for its i but now a has become changed into 4 okay so a dot i is 4 but for this one what will happen it will first see the signature change here so it will get to the prefix operator a dot i plus plus it will do and return a so now whatever it will return will also have that change okay so these are the changes so now we can use this code how integer a3 so i can pass so i will become 3 by default here so i i will be 3 set to 3 i and then i can have integer b5 integer c plus plus a when i do so it will be a prefix operation it will become a dot i will become 4 a plus plus again it will become 5 and minus a if i do so what will be called operator minus and it will call with a so now it will go to this function and it will now because this cannot be changed here and return integer minus a dot i so here i should not pass a reference because i am look uh, taking a temporary object here okay so these are the things that should be remembered about the unary operator okay and in fact here we learn a lot of concepts one was of operators of course then we learned about friend functions also and what we should return in a function and those things so i hope you understand this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my videos and post a lot of good comments thanks a lot